Hello, everyone. Now I'm to start my talk entitled Fingertip Replantation, to do or not to do. First of all, I want to start with my recent publication uh, on journal recontrolling microsurgery uh, written by uh, Suha Kwan and uh, contributed by all my uh, research group. Thank you, everyone. This paper is entitled The Preferred Management of a Single Digit Disulfans. So, in this study, we want to uh, share you about the global microsurgeon opinion in this situation. As you know, the fingertip reconstruction is very complicated. It has lots of options. And so, if you go back to the literature and textbook, you can find the current indication of digit representation, including the sum, multiple digits, children, distal to the DIPJ. In this level, this total tendon involved, so the good reconstructing cosmetic result can be expected. However, the draw, main drawback is the technically difficult. So if you see this case, the very distal Tama is on one replantation. In a few months later, you can almost ignore the scar and the patient very happy for the results. However, if this is your case, will you replant it or not? So in this study, we designed the online questionnaire and uh, the scenario was a 44 year old male suffer from a right middle finger Tamai zone one amputation and then no joint injury and uh, good quality of the amputated part. What is the choice of the reconstruction? So we send this online questionnaire by emails and multiple social medias, Facebook, LinkedIn or uh, WhatsApp or ResearchGate, everything. In the end, we find we got uh, around 400 response. We screw some of them. So overall, we got a 383 microsurgeon response. Overall, 44% of uh, people choose a reprint in this case. For the others, they will revise invitation, local flaps, and the others. If we look into geographic classification, you can find the Asian Pacific area. It's a 70%, the highest uh, area to choose a replantation, followed by the South Area, Middle East, Latin America, Oceania. And for Africa, it significantly decreased. The lowest part was from the all Europe and the North America. So for seniority, there's no difference between the junior and senior. But if you got a microsurgery training, additional fellowship, the, the attempt of replantation rate was higher than the people without had microfellowship training. For the department, there's no difference. So let's go into the regional discussion. For the Asian Pacific area, this is one of the most important, important booming area of the microsurgery. The first sub reprint, some first side reprint, palm reprint was happened here. Now the, in this area, not only microsurgery, but also super microsurgery are very popular. And another evidence, if you look into the PubMed, the search of keywords, fingertip replant, disoffarance replant, free pop replantation. You can see the many paper actually from this area. 70% paper related to these uh, keywords are published in this area between 2012 uh, and 16. For the, all the others were from other area, 30%. So in the Middle East area, this is a still booming area right now. And however, in this area, the, I have seen many young doctors, they are eager to learn and eager to attend the international meetings and they want to improve themselves. So that is maybe the main reason that they will choose the reprint in this case, because they get more chance for learning and uh, overcome the challenge. Also Europe and North America, also the originate, the microsurgery also very early. However, we found the approach in these two areas uh, tend to be more and more conservative. Why? This is one of the main reasons is maybe go to the cost effectiveness because it's, uh, if you do a replant, the surgery time will be longer and the patient maybe need to hospitalization for around one week and also they submit out from delayed complication or delayed return to work. So because of financial issue, uh, 
the more people just uh, tend to more conservative. Also, we, but we cannot ignore, ignore. this is techni technically tough. So you need to dissectional and anamosis of very, very small cable vessels. So also you want, you need to uh, manage, manage the venous congestion problem. In this study, we also identified the microsurgery fellowship is a key factor. So we can, maybe we can uh, conclude that if you have better technique and you may be uh, more aggressive uh, to this issue because you don't think that the technique problem will compromise you. So in this paper, uh, we survey the global opinion about the replantation uh, of the Tamai Zone 1 amputation. We found the geographic difference. We found the role of microsurgery fellowship played an important role. And uh, however, there's lots, lots of module factors uh, still involve the decision. So how do you think the P factors make the microsurgeon to do or not to do? This is not only a question of um, so microsurgery, this is also a question of philosophy. So when you are want to do something, you will try your best to do that. However, if you don't want to do something, you will have a lot of reason or excuse. This is too fragile. You need to wait for 20 hours. We don't have OR. However, as a doctor, you need to think, is this really the beneficial for the patients? If you go back to the uh, literature, you can see the amputation at this level, this is indicate for the replantation. It's mentioned many times in different uh, papers and textbook in greens. This is an indication of replant is a distal to FDS insertion, so it's a distal balance. Dr. Nagan, plastic, plastic surgery, third edition, is a strong indication is single digit amputation distal to FDS insertion. So, so in Tamai Zonga amputation, this very strong indication for replant because of no tendon involved and only can achieve by single artery anosmosis. So if you can do the anosmosis, artery anosmosis, you can uh, almost uh, success. And <clears throat> you can do the lots of different um, management for the venous range. So if that is the case, you will be very uh, interesting to know why in our uh, online questionnaire study, only 44% microsurgery choose to replant in this case. So it's a reason or excuse. If it's the excuse, try to overcome it. So also it's the same if we can overcome these difficulties, I think we can make it. So let's go into analyze the difficulties. So this is a questionnaire and we do yeah, last last month, so we can we got a six around sixty uh, response, and it's from the uh, eighty percent, eighty-six percent male and thirty percent female, and the age between the thirty to uh, fifty, and the response from all the world. So, uh, in this study, and uh, the response is between. Uh, 23%, 22% from uh, 6 to 10 years microsurgery training, and the other is 20% 20 from 11 to 15 years training, so they are uh, quite experienced. And 70% uh, people are with fellowship before, and uh, they are mostly from the plastic and recurrent surgery, or some hand surgery, and some orthopedics included, and uh, from multiple variety of the microsurgery experts. And so, uh, it's interesting to know that actually the most of the people, they don't have uh, much experience about uh, this Tamai Zone 1 replantation. And 40% is only one to five cases and 20% uh, from six to 10 cases experience. And uh, so it's another very interesting that how the success rate, because when we go into the literature, we can see, oh, this uh, published data is very, uh, uh, sex, sex tech factory, the 
replantation rate the is very high. However, if you go into the uh, real world, you will find actually it's uh, quite different. And uh, some people just lost everything, and some people can can had uh, almost hundred percent success rate. So that's a real world. So that's the main reason why this uh, many people just uh, forbidden themselves to do the replant because of low success rate. So it's not a very tricky that the one about half people just do one artery only if the tama is the only one replant and the half another half just do the do the one artery and one vein. Uh, however, I do say the vein is more difficult. So the technique detail about the crumbs just 40% uh, use one single crumb and 23% uh, use one double crumb and you can see the variety of the response. And uh, for the anesthesia also very difficult. It's different, 42% uh, choose the uh, general anesthesia and 27% uh, choose the uh, acid block and also some people choose digital block and risk block. And uh, tourniquet also very uh, uh, different. Just, uh, 46% choose overarm tourniquet and also the uh, and other choose a uh, uh, digit rubber band only or even no tourniquet it's also uh, very different and uh, for the suture around 60% choose 11 o while the 36% uh, choose uh, 10 o and the suture technique also a different. So half choose a step by stitch, but the, the quarter choose a back wall first, and other choose a three point and open loop. Uh, more than half of micro surgeon choose a three to four stitches, and the other thirty seven choose a five to six stitches in one anastomosis. Also, care just uh, more than two thirds people choose uh, heparin. However, it's very really interesting to know if you fail for the in the primary uh, microcirculation established, what will you do? Most of the people, around eighty percent, will choose conservative treatment. They don't do the surgical exploration, and uh, so tend to be very conservative. And uh, so, but. Usually, this most people uh, agree that uh, this surgery is more difficult, so they become, belong to the staff or consultant. So go back to our case presentation. This is uh, this case uh, show us again as uh, my right middle finger tama is one amputation, the no joint injury. So this continue to these poor results. So if this finger belong to yourself, your microsurgeon, you lost your finger. We want to be replant. Most of people, nine per, over nine percent, say yes. So, if this finger belong to your close relatives, your families, your close friend, and they want you to comment on this, yes. Also, over nine percent of people, they will recommend this finger will be replant. So, the tentative conclusion from this uh, new uh, questionnaire. Actually, we found that many. Uh, by variety between the surgical details and post of management, even the success rate. <clears throat> because most of my question is still lack of experience in this field. So if we, we can we can combine this uh, poor result and also the <clears throat> and go to the detailed analysis of all the difficulties. So let's go back to the three possible difficulties. Uh, the inadequate facilities, the patient don't want to uh, complicate postal care and unfamiliar to microsurgery technique. So for the inadequate facilities, actually including the instrument, the microscope and the sutures. So for the principle of the microanalysis, you need to make yourself comfortable first and you know, stabilize, stabilize the vessels and the crumb and the make local environment very clean, no blood, no, and put a bit good background and relax your body and soul. Then you can do the good microanosmosis. So you can see this uh, cron joint 
12 volt sutures, the EMI from um, instrument, also the Mitaka microscope, you can see the rainbow very fancy. However, the truth is that only only very few people can enjoy it. If you say, oh, if I got all this, I will start with the zoom microsurgery. Uh, I will tell you this is uh, almost impossible. Because <clears throat> part of the training is to try to do what you cannot do before. From a uh, global uh, master in microsurgery, JP Hong, I asked him about these questions and uh, he replied me, I started the microsurgery with a regular microsurgery instrument. And uh, you need to charge yourself to improve yourself, your technique, your experience, your knowledge. Then you will uh, become a soon microsurgeon. So no one born to be a microsurgeon, so don't overcome them and uh, practice made perfect. So the overcome them is different than the confident itself because uh, when everyone will uh, suffer from failure and however if you are overcome that you may complain the reason the factors from the others instrument are bad and assistant are bad the needle is too big the global environment not good for me so i'm too perfect to make any mistakes if you think about that it's difficult to improve yourself because you always blame the other people's and you don't think uh, uh, the problem is from yourself. The Dr. Takumi Yamamoto from Japan, he did a lot of day microsurgery. It's uh, just uh, after microsurgery, then go home. So he uh, summarized this topic that recipient side is uh, the upper body is good, not the lower bodies. So anesthesia, they did the local anesthesia. And the soon microsurgery, the short period dissection is possible. Don't turn a kid. So usually a patient move and surgeon need to enjoy the movement. And they do a lot of uh, 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 flap and also a replant. So the personal care, they don't put a drain and elevate, don't compress. Unfair sumagusia technique is uh, also a key issue. So uh, Dr. Wei Chen in the United States, he shared his experience uh, about how to be a zoom microsurgeon. So the, actually uh, he talked about this many times and uh, this practice made perfect and uh, most microsurgeons are trained, not born. So uh, you can see the full detail uh, on our website and do more practice. So most important is that make yourself comfortable with uh, your body, your finger, uh, your hand, your to sub get a full support, but then you start with the uh, anosmosis. From little review, you can see the many uh, people talking about different method, like uh, every shunting, the delay vein repair, valve vein repair, if not pocket, and uh, so venothermal anosmosis or leech, native pressure, hyperventilation, or speed artery. So there's a lot of uh, different way to uh, manage the venous flow. So uh, from very interesting article from Dr. Koshima's group, and he used a two-stage procedure, the first stage to the artery, then uh, come back in the second day under local anesthesia, and to do the vein, because in this stage, all the vein is gorge. So they, uh, the anosmosis will be very easy. In this paper, he uh, emphasized in 21 cases, all the cases was done by junior microsurgeons, so with high success rate. So if the junior microsurgeon can do that, for sure, this is for senior microsurgeons, that's a piece of cake. This is a case, uh, did a primary repair, one artery, one vein, then come back in the coming day, do the, another two vein. So the puzzle <clears throat> follow up looks perfect. So uh, Dr. Xu in Taiwan, Chang'e Memorial Hospital, he uh, shared his experience on PIs a few years ago. He will find an artery and just cut one for artery, one for vein, 
that will be easy for the uh, reconstruction. Uh, Dr. Lin in uh, Kaohsiung Changa Memorial Hospital in Taiwan Park, his technique is uh, some uh, abdominal pocket and finish artery, then put the uh, abdominal pocket and the area pop area. Then the venous drainage can be uh, can be performed. There's a uh, my good friend Carlos from Colombia. He shared about his uh, experience how to do the leech therapy after fingertip replant. So he sent me also very kind sent me his slides in Spanish. I think all of you can understand that. It's a fingertip replantation and also manage the best outflow by the leech. Outcome is good. So this is a small video he shared. He told me that uh, this case was 13 years ago. Okay, so you can see a fresh graph from the fingertip. Looks nice. So also there are some techniques that have been published, but between the microsurgeons. For example, the double artery repair and soft tissue reduction. For the double artery repair, so because of the gradient, maybe one artery can become the outflow. And so it's make it <clears throat> make it survive. So so first you debulking, so you can shift the Ishikawa two to Ishikawa one in the left soft tissue. So you just need to do the artery, not then. So they can make the procedure more simple and with elevate the success rate. So some uh, tips here from the global uh, masters, Sub Baba Salfa from United States, from Bunky Clinic. He said uh, for vessels small, we usually don't do clumps. So maybe one only in the proximal part. So he he pre prefer the posterior wall technique, 11 0 or 12 0 So when you're skilled enough, and you are brave enough for the challenge yourself. So there's for sure some interesting case. It's a very, very small segment of imitation. However, it still can possibly be replant. This uh, from Dr. Wei Ko in the Jinan, China. And this also results. Multiple fingertip imitation at the same time. How do you do that? Should you try it back, discard it, or replant? For all the cases, written by Dr. Lim Fong Liu in China. Professor Fu Cheng Wei and uh, their team just uh, show three cases uh, in PIs. It's a prolonged ischemia. After around 90 hours, co still can be replanted. If longer, can we do that? Yes. Cryopreservation preservation is uh, uh, from Professor Zhen Tao Wang in China, he published one paper on PIs talking about how he did the cryopreservation. preservation, just show one case. It's from 15 years ago, a young male suffered from a finger amputation, visit Professor Wang, and he wanted to do that, but the patient refused. So he can only put the, the, the amputated digit in the liquid nitrogen. So after, uh, 81 days, the patient come back and request, request for a replant. They won't heal for sure. So uh, after process, the, the amputated part will rewarm and uh, replant. So one week post-op and one month. And six months, you can see a CT angel, some uh, good angel, good new vascularization. 15 years later, the bone healed, the pub, the fingertip atrophy, but still survived with a good function. So this is a patient and the Professor Wang. So another uh, extreme, extreme condition, the baby, sometimes the baby got an accident cut. So however, the amputated part was very, very small. In this uh, prematurity, only 2.2 kilometer, a kilogram baby suffer from a little finger amputation. So the vessel size 0 0.15 uh, millimeter, three stitches, immediate post social good perfusion, long term results good. This is by another uh, Chinese doctor, the Jian Zhou, finished this case. There's a world record 70. 
17 segment replantation is also from China the, by uh, Dr. Uh, Jen C. Ho's group. And 14 approach, uh, six, 69 vascular anamosis, including 60 artery segment and uh, 33 veins, 27 neural coaptation, finishing 18 hours. So after eight years, the patient can face the uh, function of the hand. You can do the daily work very uh, detailed and also the labor work. The outcome will be excellent after this complicated surgery. So also another challenge is from the 10 d amputation. So uh, there are a few literature on uh, PAME, but you can see the fantastic result by, in this case, done by Dr. Li Wen Hao, uh, Chao Chen, and Lin Fen Liu in, in Jinan, China. Finished in 12 hours. So if you see people are very successful, but you, you need to, uh, you cannot ignore the, uh, how they work hard. Uh, and uh, so <clears throat> uh, for the, the suggestion for the young microsurgeons, that you are still young for energy and uh, lots of potential. Just pick up a few fields you are interested in, follow uh, great masters and work hard. Then not long later, you will success. So everything is difficult but they try to overcome it. Practice make perfect. That sounds like uh, go back to work. Okay, so uh, I really enjoy uh, this, uh, this topic when preparation and also hope you can uh, get some idea after this talk and welcome the next invitation. Thank you very much.